The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner is a novella by Stephanie Meyer, published in 2010. The novella is a companion to Meyer's third book in her popular Twilight series, intended to expand the fictional universe and provide a different perspective from the main series, which is largely locked to the point of view of her protagonist Bella Swan. The story begins with Brie, a newly made vampire of about 15 years of age, on a hunt in Seattle with several other vampires who are part of a larger gang led by a vampire named Riley. Brie fled her home and barely survived as a runaway before being turned. Brie is unimpressed with two of her hunting partners, but the third, Diego, catches her eye as smarter than the others. She pairs up with Diego, and they successfully attack and kill two prostitutes and their pimp. Brie and Diego were turned into vampires by the same person, Victoria, who they refer to as she. Riley is Victoria's second in command. After feeding they hide in a cave and talk about their past lives before they became vampires, and then they discuss their mutual dissatisfaction with Riley's leadership. They both think Riley and Victoria are using them and lying to them. The sun comes up, but instead of killing them, as they assumed, it simply makes their skin sparkle. They track their fellow vampires to a remote cabin where Riley has gathered the gang. Brie knows the life she leads is violent and unstable, all of Riley's gang are newborn vampires, and they are out of control and attack each other with little provocation. Diego encounters one of the gang and fights with them. When Riley emerges from the cabin they follow him, believing he is going to meet with Victoria. This turns out to be true, and they listen in on the conversation. Victoria is planning to attack the Cullen clan in revenge for the death of her lover, James. The Volturi, a vampire clan that enforces the rules of modern vampire life, arrive. They accuse Victoria of trying to create an army of vampires beholden to her, and threaten to punish her. Then they offer her an alternative, to use her army to attack and destroy the Cullen clan of vampires. They give Victoria five days to do so, or she will be executed. Brie goes back to the cabin and decides the time has come to run and be on her own, Diego stays behind to talk to Riley. Riley returns to the cabin alone and tells the gang about the Cullens and tells them that they will have to learn to fight to survive. He tells Brie that Diego has gone off to spy with Victoria, but will return. Riley then announces that fight training will begin. Three nights of training go by. Riley leads the gang to a ferry, and they attack the passengers and kill them for sustenance. Riley tells them that the Cullens keep a human as a pet, Bella SWA. He gives them Bella's scent for tracking and tells them they can have her for food when the Cullens are destroyed. The gang goes to attack the Cullens. One vampire, Fred, flees to Canada, telling Brie he will wait one day to see if she wants to come with him. Brie isn't interested in attacking the Cullens, but hopes to see Diego and so participates. Riley leaves, telling Brie that he has other business but that Diego is already there fighting. When Brie gets to the location, she finds the Cullens easily defeating the newborn vampires, slaughtering them. She cannot detect any scent of Diego, and assumes Victoria killed him the previous night. She is distraught by this realization. Brie is captured by the Cullens, who argue whether she should be executed or not. They decide to hold her prisoner and await the Volturi. Brie hears howling, but does not know about werewolves. She sees Bella and has a powerful urge to attack her and drink her blood. The Volturi arrive, and Brie learns that she and the other newborns were created illegally by Victoria. Brie is tortured by one of the Volturi named Jane. Brie acts as if she is stupid and confused, and blames Riley, telling the Volturi that she obeyed because she feared death. The Volturi decide Brie must be executed, but the Cullens surprisingly intervene saying they will take responsibility for her, that she is blameless because no one taught her the rules. The Volturi refuse, telling the Cullens that if they spare her, their reputation as enforcers of vampire law will be diluted. One of the Cullens, Edward, tells Bella to close her eyes. Brie misunderstands and thinks he is speaking to her. She closes her eyes, thinking of Diego, realizing that she was in love with him. The Volturi attack and kill her. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.